As a black man slash real nigga that's never been shot, I pay attention to the news. I've been following this story about a cop in Dallas, Texas who went into this black dude's apartment and shot him in quote self-defense while he was just chilling, eating some ice cream. How do you go inside someone else's apartment? Whose key do you use? Even if the door is open, their house is not gonna smell like yours. It's either gonna smell prettier or shittier. Their farts aren't gonna smell like your farts. And black dudes' house smell different. Real robust. Like a mixture of toe jam and weed just covered in Febreze air freshener. Yeah, I just think you should notice something that'll indicate to you that you don't live there. The dude was black and Christian. I'm sure as soon as you entered his apartment, he either had on the side, live, love, laugh, or white Jesus. Some decorations that no one can touch. But never mind that. What happened to stop, freeze, don't move? This nigga didn't even get a conversation. Both of them, Jane, did not deserve to die. And I don't believe it happened the way the media says. Do you want to know what I believe? I believe they was having sex. No attachment. And it's been going on for months. Both of them was giving up all the D. Hitting that right night after night. He was giving on more wood than a bonfire. More pipe than Home Depot. And then one day, both of them decided to abstain from sex and focus on the Lord. And through the frustrations of begging and pleading for sex from both of them, Amber, she was losing her mind. She was craving dick like it's cocaine. Both of them probably called over the counselor like a good godly man. Hello, Amber. How have you been? How have I been? Both of them. Why are you doing this? Doing what, Amber? You don't came into my life, made me happy. Then you just go leave me like that. The good Lord has put me on a path of righteousness. Righteousness? Might as well go live with him then. <coughs> no. Oh my God. I shot him. I can't believe I shot him. This woman may have been insane enough to cut his dick off just so she wouldn't be lonely. If you liked the video, please share, subscribe to my YouTube channel to see videos weekly.